Alright guys, welcome back to the card review. So, as you guys know, I am a huge fan of Constellers. Constellers are one of my favorite decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, when it comes to using, of course, going against. I mean, I know, of course, you know how powerful the deck is. I know how much of a dick cleave he says. So, you know, I don't want to be on the other end. I'm a hypocrite like that. But, you know, when it comes to, you know, a nice competitive, semi-competitive strong deck. I, you know, a nice, uh, you know, tier 1.5. I totally don't mind using Constellers. So, uh... Of course, Constellers. There's actually a character in the anime, the Arc 5 anime, who uses Constellers. Same thing with uh, Gem Knights and um, X Saber. So that's the reason why you've been seeing a couple of those cards pop up, some new cards for those old decks, because those characters are actually in the anime. So, you know, they actually have cards that aren't, you know, they're just like, hey, I'm the anime character, so look, brand new card. <laughs> you know, I'm an anime character, so. Uh, of course, uh, since Constella Guy is an anime character, he has his own anime cards, and eventually uh, Konami just to go ahead and side and create them into real cards, uh, which effects may not be the same, of course, but um, you know, sometimes they're much worse, sometimes they're better, sometimes they're just exactly the same as what they are. But uh, this card right here, he actually used it in an episode. So it's called uh, Twinkle Constellar, and um, I'm going to go over it. So... In the anime, he used it to do a play that I wouldn't do as a Castella player, just because he was overextending like hella. He pretty much used, like, what, his entire hand. He went Special Summon Seat, because he played on Seat. Then he went Summon Pollux, Pollux Summon Algeti, Algeti Summon Koss. You know, you know, uh, I think it was, like, Koss increase and then he made and then he made a pleadies but then he used twinkle constellar and then increased pollux to up two levels and then siak copied pollux and then he made an m7 so he had a please and m7 at the cost of five cards why really like no so uh yeah that's pretty much how i use it so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and go over this card and um, determine as a Constellar player, because you know I have personal experience with this card as a, you know, as a Constellar player. Would I run this? All right, so Twinkle Constellar. It's a really gay name, <laughs> really. You know, it's supposed to be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So I guess you know Constellar's a star. It's like, oh, I get it. Ah, that's cute. No. Anyway, it's a normal spell card. So it reads: Target one Constellar monster you control. Increase its level by one or two. So you're probably going to be doing one because. Going for a first turn M7 in Constellars isn't, no, you know. If I wanted to go for first turn M7, I would just make a deck that summons level 6s. I'm sorry, but no. Constellars, that's not their thing, you know. Especially since Please is much stronger than M7, why would you ever want to go for M7, you know. I mean, what's, well, I mean, what's the gist? For Sheraton, I guess? So you can go like, alright, they'll summon Sheraton, you know. Well, I, mean, I, I, I guess, you know, is that it? To go Pollux, summon Sheraton, search... Twinkle, increase Sheraton's level up by 2 to 5, and then use the second effect? Hold on, let me, let me go with the second effect. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one Constellar monster from your graveyard. Add this card from your graveyard to your hand. You can only use this effect of Twinkle Constellar once per turn. So, yeah, you heard it. So, the gist of it is uh, pretty much you play it. You increase one Constellar's monster level, and then you banish a Constellar to get this card back, and then play it again, and increase the other, and then bam, you got yourself a nice Pleiades pie. You know, bake at 200 degrees for 15 minutes, and uh, just enjoy. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, it's it's not good. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know. Stanzi was like, "Oh yeah, it's a pretty good card." No, it's not. It's it's obsolete. And bad, you know. You could have done a lot more with Constellers. If you want to, be, if you want to give Constellers some more support, give them another decent level four. That's what the deck needs. It does not need this. This is obsolete because it, like, what, what? You target one Constellar monster and increase its level cost. Does that? You know, you're probably thinking like, well, it's another cost, so it's good, right? It's another cost. It's not another cost. It's not another cost. You know what another cost is? Tanky, that is another cost. You, you see what I meant there? Because Tanky searches you for cost, so it's an another cost. Uh, uh, yeah, so no, this isn't. This is a neg. Cost doesn't neg you. This is a neg. This is clearly a neg. All right, and the second effect. 
to go ahead and banish a Constellar monster to add this card from your graveyard to your hand. Doesn't Sombra do that better? Like, no. You know, like, as a Constellar player, there aren't, especially early game, there aren't any Constellar monsters in the graveyard yet. You know, uh, like, generally, you know, Constellar's first turn Pleiades is the best, right? How do you first turn Pleiades with this card? Unless you win, foolish, drop a Constellar, play, you know, Pollux into Algeti, play this, increase one's level, banish that monster that you just foolish to get this card back, play it again, increase that level, then make a Pleiades. But look what you just did. Let's see. Uh, that was tw that was Twinkle, of course, the Pollux, the Algeti, and the Foolish. So, going, you're going first. So, yeah, there you go. Four out of your five cards in your hand for this. You know? Well, you, all you had to do is simply just go, Pollux, cost. You know, like, why? Why, you don't need this. You absolutely don't need this. You know, and it's just like, oh, well, more, you know, you need more. You have triple Rota and triple Tanky. Pleadies. Like, it, it, it's not that hard. It really isn't. And no, no, this card, no, no, just no, it's a neg. It's a neg. It is a neg. If I start off with five cards in my hand, and one of them is a Pollux, and one of them is a Koss, and I go Pollux, summon Pollux, summon Koss, I am still have five. Now, of course, when I XE, I'm going to neg, because, you know, XEing you naturally neg. But it's much better than starting off with five cards, going Pollux into Algidy, into increasing one's level, and then hopefully having a Constellar monster in my graveyard, which may not happen, especially first turn. Then banishing to get this card back to play it again and increase the other level. It's a neg. I just used up three cards in my hand to make the Pleiades, which in which Pollux and Koss or Al Al Algeti or and Koss can do with two. And the second effect to go ahead and banish, you know, Constellar Monster. Why do I want to banish my Sombre food? Like, no, Sombre does a much better job. Sombre gives me a plus. I summon Sombre, I banish a Constellar, and I add one back. I plus. I went from whatever card my... Uh, Alright, let's say, hypothetically speaking, I have three cards in my hand. One of them being Sombre. I summon Sombre. I still have three cards. Sombre, banish a Constellar, which does not neg me, to add back a Constellar. Now I have Sombre on the field and three cards in hand, because the Constellar monster I got that. Sombre just plussed me. Then I can summon that... That monster, preferably cost, cost, increase both of their levels, you know, without even having to do the whole recycle back, twinkle, and, and shit like that, and make the Pleiades. Why do you need to run twinkle when you have two fucking monsters that it, it, there is no, you know, like, mm, well, maybe I run them. No. If you're running Castellars, you run cost, you run Sombre. So why would you make a card that is obsolete in comparison to two of the best Constellar monsters that of course you're gonna fucking run. It just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. No. No, I mean, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the Constellar cards, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the shit right now. You guys know that I don't like Sheraton. I would rather run Sheraton, summon Sheraton, and Sheraton search me for a cost or a Sombre than run this card. This is not what Constellar's needed. They just need... The, Konami. Konami. Let me sit down. As a Constellar player, we just need one more monster. That's the only fucking problem with Constellar's. They just have a little bit... This is, this is an incy bitsy tiny bit of consistency issues. Because we only have 12 good monsters. All we have is, is Pollux, Koss, Algeti, and... Sombra and a jetty ain't that good either. A jetty is no, because it can get Valor and break through skill and stuff like that. But at least it's a level four, which can go with cost. So when Pollux isn't there, our jetty is fine. But yeah, all we have is that four, those four times that by three of each, that's only 12. You know, of course, we got the triple road and triple tanky, but just 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 a little bit more, just one more decent level four. I didn't, it could be, you know, it could be like. S special summon if your opponent how about this if your opponent controls a monster and you don't you can special summon this card from your hand and 
then also, but it can't be normal summoned or set, just that, and then give it the cost effect at the end. That would be fine. So you can just go, all right, well, you control a monster, I don't, special summon, constellar, whatever the fuck his name will be, S normal summon another constellar, this new constellar is a fact, you know, cost effect, increase both elements, bam, another plea. That would be fine. That would be fine, and I feel like that would be balanced. But this, this is not what they needed. Absolutely not what they needed. So, yeah, there you go. That's what I think about Twinkle Constellar. I really hope that, you know, as the Arc 5 anime progresses, that the Constellar guy will put in more work and sh get more cards and show off more cards for Constellars. Because right now, to tell you the truth, he ain't doing much. He is not doing much. If you're watching anime, he is not doing much. The freaking x saber guy, he taught the freaking... Uh, uh, the super heavy guy had a synchro, and they look kind of like rivals. And then the Yuzu, the girl, uh, you know, pro I mean, yeah, protagonist. She's rivals with the Gem Knight fusion girl. So, you know, those two. But the but freaking Constellar guy, he's just like, ah, I'm here. Uh, I lost the duel against the main character because I misplayed. If I would have just did my pleadings bounce at the right time, I would have won. But, of course, he has to win because he's the main character, and I'm bad with Constellars, you know. I, you know, I just don't like it. I don't like when, you know, my characters and my decks are being re represented on the anime and they do bad with it. It's just like, you know what, move, 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 move. Give me that deck. No. You're bad. <laughs> you know? And I'm not even sure. I'm, I'm not even sure if that Constellar guy in the anime even runs Tanky in his deck. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so far he hasn't done anything too bad. I haven't seen him summon any of the level 5s or 6s, so that's okay. But, you know, so far it's just like, all right. So, but he runs this card, so, you know, he's clearly bad, but no. No, this card's not good, it's not necessary in Constellas, that's not what they needed. <sighs> Alright, I'm done. I'm done ranting about this card. So, go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. I know you guys probably think, like, yeah, it's good, it's good. It's not. It's not. As a Constellar player, it's not. I won't run it. I would rather run Sheraton over this. So, that's how much I don't like this card. Alright, so, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look at for the review. Thanks for watching.